Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about the three habits that are keeping you poor. The number one thing is that people don't put a value to their time. If you look at people that earn a lot of money, they're gonna have a value to their time. So you need to put a value to your time. What's your dollar per hour rate? And if you have a dollar per hour rate, think about it. Every time you go to the car wash, or every time you go out shopping, or every time you're on Netflix, there's a dollar per hour that's going out of your earning capacity or capability. So a lot of people don't really track their hours when it comes to especially entrepreneurs. We do ourselves a little bit of a disservice by just willy-nilly allocating whatever time we want to friends and family and loved ones and going out for long lunches and all of those kind of things you have to be aware of. I'm not saying don't go out to lunches. I'm not saying don't hang with your friends, but have a dollar per hour rate so that you understand if you're washing your dishes and you get paid $250 an hour, then your dishes cost you 250 bucks this time around to wash. Obviously, when you're starting out in life, when you're brand new to entrepreneurship, when you're just getting your life started, obviously you don't have a maid and obviously you have to wash your own car. But as soon as you start start to earn money, I call it DPA, what's your dollar producing activity. And if you're mindful of your dollar producing activity, you will not waste time. So again, the number one thing that people do that makes them poor is not respecting their own time. We value more entertainment than actually earning. And if you start to look at your time that way, you're less likely to waste time. I always didn't think of my time in that particular manner, but it wasn't up until I became a millionaire at an early age, I started to really value not only my time, but the time of others as well. Number two is I'm gonna call it hanging with losers. Now, this might hit you hard and you might disagree with it, but hanging out with people that don't have the same mindset as you. Now, I'm not saying Cut off ties or cut off talking to your loved ones or your siblings or your parents. I'm talking about people out there that just suck up your time and don't give you the right value for your time as well. So if you've got people, and sometimes they are close family members, and I'm not saying cut them off, but start to limit the amount of time. So if you've got someone in your family that's constantly negative or friends that are constantly negative, they're actually keeping you poor with their negativity. They might talk about things that are not relevant or they might sway you from making decisions that are financially sound they might tell you don't do this don't invest there I wouldn't do good example of this is when I started to invest in real estate I was told by a lot of friends including family members hey watch out real estate is very very volatile you end up losing money who wants to be a landlord you're gonna be a slumlord and all of these other things and negativity behind just investing in real estate. And I'm glad that I took a stand and I'm glad that I invested in real estate because it gave me a lot of opportunity. Years later, the very same people who advised me not to get into real estate, who told me not to invest, who told me it was volatile and had negative connotations about it, came over to me and asked me for my advice. I wanna invest in real estate or how did you do it? One friend even told me that I should have forced him to do real estate and I wasn't hard enough on him. So to that, I just say, stop hanging out with people that are not giving you the value you need for your time, that are not committed to excellence like you, that are not thinking about their finances like you are. Just cut it out, keep it moving. Number three thing that you need to do that's keeping you poor is not having goals. A strategize why most people stay poor is they don't have strategic goals. Now, I'm a firm believer in writing your goals down and having a vision and all that, but it's far beyond just having a vision board or having a bunch, a multitude of goals. I want to do this, I want to do that, but have strategic goals. And the best way to strategize with your goals is that you have a big goal, right? And you look at your big goal, now you want to make it daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. You need to break your goals down. Chunk it down to bite-sized pieces 
so that you have an ability to look at incremental change throughout your time during a year when you're trying to accomplish this goal. Think about it this way. If you want a degree in a four-year university, you can't just show up on graduation day and get your degree handed to you, right? You have to go to daily classes. You have to keep an account of what your weekly you know, tests are and quizzes are. You have to look at how your grades are doing on a monthly level, a quarterly level, and then also annually to be able to accomplish that. It's the best way to really look at and strategize your goals. So have a goal and a plan. Look, if you like the material that I'm giving you, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not one of those get rich quick gurus. I will always give you my advice because my advice really comes from going from poverty to becoming a millionaire. And when I looked back at it, it wasn't that I was smart or bright or had special talents. It was a set of habits that I developed. It was a mindset that I had. And that's what I give you every single video is try to get you to understand that regardless of where you're from, or how you look, or what the color of your skin is, or what your sex or sexual orientation is, you can achieve anything you put your mind to it. People are no smarter or no greater talented than you are. And everything is a possibility for you. So if you like the content that I give you, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that subscribe button and let the algorithm and the video stand for itself so I can spread the word even more.